Welcome back to Great Day Live. We're going to head back out to Little Mount Lavender where Elle has been checking out everything they have to offer this spring season. Hey there, Elle. Claudia, I have officially gotten a new job and I am so excited to step behind the counter here at Little Mount Lavender. I'm here with one of their associates today, Shane, and of course, Jason. And so what's really unique about Little Mount Lavender is you're all about local, so local that you make everything right here in house. So we're gonna be packaging some bath salts today. Mm -hmm. So kind of tell me some of your varieties and all the benefits of bath salts. Uh, the main variety starts with lavender, our lavender oil, but we have everything from detox to soap to perk you up, to relax you down, just to smell good. So we have about, how many varieties we got now, Shane? I think we have about 10 or 12, I all believe. Right. Mm -hmm. Which all of our associates here are involved in the production of our products here. Mm -hmm. That gives them a little break from just customer service, plus keeps us well stocked in the building. So we appreciate all of our associates for the excess that they have to do. Mm -hmm. Instead of just being a cashier, they get to be all over the place. Yeah, very mm -hmm. hands-on experience here. Well, I'm gonna dig in here. So you're gonna take my job. Yeah. I'm gonna get the gloves on. So Shane, kind of walk me through uh, what we're gonna be doing here today. So we're going to be bagging our uh, new lavender driftwood bath salts okay. and these bath salts they're made with a base of uh, baking soda and then we have Epsom salt uh, for moisturizing and then we have uh, dead sea salt and Himalayan salt for like the extra added benefits of the minerals in there mm -hmm. uh, and we have our lavender oil and then we have uh, lavender driftwood marjoram and myrrh and the margarine and merge is good for muscle pain, so it just adds to the Epsom salt. Yeah. For so the we just kind of spill up the bag here? Yep, we'll just fill up the bag here. Let's mm. not make a mess. Yep. I'm Try. already making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I am not good at this. Uh, remove me from the payroll, please, because I am not. There has to be a trick to. Oh, here. Keep the bag open. And do yeah, you have to weigh like this to out, open. or do you really just scoop it up all the way to the top? Yeah, so we'll kind of weigh it out. Um, and make sure we get it to a good size so that way we can uh, right, seal so the bag. We scooped a little too much. We're gonna look, <laughs> wait, get, get some out here. And then what's super important that I found out is the sealing of the bag because if you seal it too low, the bag will explode. And that's a terrible experience. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and it explodes in the, the uh, actual department that it's in. <laughs> and you'll walk out there and there's a Epsom salt mess everywhere. Oh my so, God. so you we have this little machine right here and you just seal it. Yeah, you just hold it down for three or four seconds and it'll seal the bag up. There we go. And it'll that. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, go at it. You're on. <laughs> you can go take a cold. nap now. No. <laughs> so actually coming up next, they're gonna put me even more to work. We're gonna step behind the scenes in their kitchen and whip up something on the stovetop. Stay tuned for that. Back to you, Claudia.